All right, folks, it is I, the Ulster Gamer, and welcome back to the cruise. Eye. Uh, yes, guys, welcome back. We are still stuck in this damn scary dark school, and we are still being urged on by the voice of the Joker, which, sadly to say, isn't Mark Hamill. Um, it is a very good impression by a guy called Ryan Wiley. Uh, so, yeah, very good impression of it. There's a wee, uh, wee cassette there. Let's, let's check that out. What's this saying? This is from Evelyn O'Donnell. Go on, Evelyn. What have you got to say for yourself? I feel a little guilty. Why? If well, these agents are poking about so enthusiastically, mm. it must be because I've done something wrong. Okay, what have you done? It would be a pity that all of our hard work went to waste because of me. If I didn't tell Dr. Holtwick, it would be as if I was lying to him. Mm -hmm. I should warn him and assume the consequences. What? What are you going to assume? What consequences? What's happening? Why would nobody tell me anything? Let me just, just, let me just cue to you. To come out of that cue. Yeah, we got, oh Jesus, there's a table there. They told me. Alright, what else we got lying around here? Boxes. Okay, more boxes. And just files, really. That's, that's really about it, okay. Might as well continue on with our journey. Find out what the hell is going on. Oh, there's a hole in the wall over there. Oh, something over there as well. Because uh, what we know so far... What are you? Nails? I picked up some nails. We got a ball. A baseball bat with nails in it. Uh, yes, yeah, so what we know so... Oh, there's a shovel. Sorry, I'm getting really... Uh, off track here. So what we know... So over there. Uh, <laughs> is that... We... <sighs> Years ago, there was a investigation on the disappearance of some students, uh, which is what we we are finding out. Nice wee mask here, um, and then so, somehow we we've kind of just woken up. Cockroach, uh, find out what's going on. Yeah, yep, my piano skills haven't fucking improved. Can I take a hammer? I want, can I take the hammer now? Okay, all right. Nothing else around here to. To look at and take. Oh, hello. Don't know exactly what that is. Control to crouch. Hello? Got a workbench here. Yeah. We've got stuff over here as well. Another cassette player. Who's this one from? We don't know. Let's listen and find out. I've spent several hours looking for Professor Evelyn O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. I've had her practically glued to me as I worked, and now that I want to speak with her, she has disappeared from the face of the earth. Seeing such a peculiar professorate, I wonder how the students from this place must be. I imagine that having to lacerate bodies and observe entrails every day Ooh. ends up disturbing you. It would it would disturb fucking me. Even if it's only a little. I better warn the police force to have an eye on Evelyn before I withdraw from the case. Yep. Okay, so I think that is Benjamin. Some reason not actually telling us. We've got some schematics here, so Oh, we can make pick locks. Apparently, out of a saw, some wood, and two nails. How many nails do we have? We've got those nails indeed. So let's just uh I think it's that one, that one, and that one. And we can make some pick locks. Oh yeah, pick locks. Let's drag out over to here. Alright, maybe drag out. I don't know how to use this. All right, yeah. <laughs> Duh. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else I can use laying around here? No. Nothing else at all. All right. Got here. Let's drag us back. There we go. I didn't like this blood there. Why? Why is there so much blood? Oh God! It's a nipple door. All right. Um. How do I? All right. So inner movement is that button. Outer movement is that movement. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way, but we're going to do it. So, like that, and then this one gets dragged through there. Okay, I get... Oh, okay. Let's drag you up. Okay, don't touch the sides. I know. Okay. Get... Okay. We have to be so careful. Oh, all right. 
I think we haven't done... Maybe we'll just hit the escape button and do it again. Because I think we kind of mucked that up the first time off the bat. Precision is key. Oh shit, sorry. Getting a bit over... Getting a bit ahead of myself. Oh, that was close. Alright, maybe we can just try to open us as far as we can. And we can just shimmy you through. I think the more it goes red, the less harder it is to control. But we're doing well. Can you get through there, my friend? Oh, yep, we're good. And click. We are open! I did it! Hello? I heard... Something. Oh man, I would like a torch. Who's this? We don't know. It seems to be Benjamin again. Go on, Benjamin, what you got to say for yourself? It's all a joke! Director Holwick has given me more time to work on the case, and I just okay. couldn't say no. He's been extremely persuasive. I was already picturing getting back home oh. in a couple of days. I spent too long without seeing my family. I don't know how I'll bear this until the end. It's becoming more and more difficult for me to concentrate these days. I'm finding it hard to concentrate too. Light just went out. No. Oh, the lighting. The lighting is, is very spooky because of the fact that you can only see so far. I apologize, guys, if you are having any difficulty. Oh, I can open this. Uh, any difficulty at all uh, seeing what is going on. Because believe me, it is not that easy for me either. Okay, there's nothing really in there. Um. I'm going to jump out of my face. <clears throat> Alright, so this is a letter from James Leffer to William Holwick. Alright, so we read this. Dear William Holwick, I am writing to you again regarding your quest for information about further side effects originating from the Rainbow Project. I still believe that there are several things that still need to be done, and which may, of course, procure your interests. But I respect your decision to leave. It has been a month since the third crewman disappeared, and one who had apparently come out unscathed from the experiment. The latest information we have in this regard is very confusing. We have gathered witnesses who were sure he was in a bar drinking alcohol, and then when he suddenly got into a fight. The witnesses say the witnesses say he started to disintegrate an integrate intimately until he finally vanished without a trace. What? So he, he kind of just melted? What, what the hell am I in? I thought it was like a, a mad spooky killer. Uh, this added to the rumor saying that the information Nikolai Telsa obtained to construct the experiment was provided by extraterrestrial life forms only generating further uncertainty. Aliens now? What? Aliens? I do not know what the what to think anymore. I obviously dismiss any rumors involving extraterrestrial life, but having seen what I have seen in the Philadelphia experiment, a crewman vanishing without a trace while having a drink in a bar. That's an ominous sign. Um, does not seem so crazy. The two remaining uninjured crewmen seem to be in a perfect condition, although one of them Hurley McCannan, the redhead, has been complaining the past few days, saying that he felt an odd tingling in his brain. As he defined it, he is apparently healthy. We will conduct tests on the redhead, and I shall keep you informed of any further developments. James Lafer. Lafer. All right. So aliens, good to know. At least we know what we're dealing with. Freaking aliens, man. Somebody call the men in black. Alright, alright. Should I go down that corner or just check out around here? Alright, so it's a dead end. That's good to know. And we've got that mad... What is that? Is that like something... Like a mask or is there something in there? Am I missing a, like a, a, a something inside it? Could it do with a drink? Could it do with a drink? 
of alcohol, not water, alcohol. Uh, okay, that, our doors are locked up. Can't get through there. Go, oh, got more. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. All righty, oh then, green gas. I'll just close you up. I don't want to go through the green gas. Green gas. No. Spooky. Why is that red? I'm scared. No. It's locked from the other side. Okay. Okay. Oh, got another tape recorder there. Gas mask. That's what I'm needing. All right. Robert Kansas. Again, this guy doesn't like me. One week in this shitty university, I've barely been able to drink some booze, <laughs> and on top of all, I have to put up with that Bennett. He thinks that for having been here for longer than I, he can get me orders. He and his theories of conspiracy can all go to hell. In here, there's nothing more than books and kiddos who believe to be something just because they're wearing a nameplate and a uniform. I am so willing to arrive home and get wasted. Wasted! Okay, now it's blocked from the other side. That's good to fucking know. How do I get in here? Do I smash this? Can I? I need, I kind of need this. Maybe I should have lifted something. I don't know. Maybe there's something down here that I need to get. Okay, it suddenly got so clean, healthy. That's that's mad colors. I don't know what the hell is going on, but we're gonna save it anyway. So let's uh, e save the game. Yep. All right. Game has been saved. Means if we die, we've got somewhere to start from, right? I have no idea what's going on with these. That is blue, blue. That is a purple. Uh, okay. That's white. That's green. And that is like an orange color. All right. Maybe we could turn off this here, so we can actually get a look. So these all have their own wee mad colors. So green. Let's grab the green one. We know where green can go. Okay, it doesn't work that way. All right, all right, all right. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I get you. I get you. On the way you go. Green, my magic box that's floating in the air. But okay. All right. So we got a bit of a puzzle here. A bit of a puzzle. All right. So if I push Mr. Green Box this way. I should be able to get behind that and push it all the way over there. So, there we go. And then over to that pillar. Alright. Then that won't be able to push right into the what? what? What did it do? No idea. Alright, so that's orange, which needs to go into that one. That, I, I would say, that's kind of purple. Purple, purple, maybe? So I need to get it to hit this here so I can push it in from right. So if I can get it to hit that one, I can push it over here. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm guessing this way. Don't you go in there. And then this way. And I should be able to. Yeah, look at me. I'm good at these puzzles. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you very much. And then boom. Here we go. All right. We are making progress. Making a lot of progress. Right, so we've got yellow, which I believe is that way. So if I hit that, that's going to hit that wall. Okay. So let's just go with it, shall we? I bet you we're supposed to hit that one. And then I could hit that there one. So it hits that. And I push it down there. I don't think it would work. I need it to hit back out. All right, you know what, what? We're just gonna go with it. That's what we're gonna do. We're just, we're just gonna go with it. I'm sure. As long as I keep going, all right, we're gonna be fine. All right, go that way. Bada boom. By the way, just to let you know, I did not look this up. I haven't played this. This is completely guessing. 
I am just quite good at these type of puzzles. So then I push this down there, which will hit that there, and I can push it into there. See? And that should slide on in. Excellent. Now we've got this one. So I'm guessing straight ahead. So it hits that. Um, so it hits that there. Yep. See, most people would think they go that way, but then you're going to get blocked off by this. You want it to hit this pillar, so you're going to have to go this way, right? Like so! And then you push this forward, and it'll hit that pillar. There you go. I just reach over here before it gets there. There you are. And then, boom! See? And then that opens up that. Happy days. I'm going to look like an elephant! Is that it? Is that all that was down here? Okay, bit of a, uh, a very complicated puzzle just to get a gas mask, don't you? Okay, now it's very cold. Let's just get the gas mask. Hello? Um, hello? Just gonna... Oh, great! Now we look like a freaking superhero. Okay, alright. You ever seen Dead Man's Shoes? Tell me. I was gonna check out. Getting water. Nope. I'm going this way. I'm going into the gas. Because I can. You're still locked up. Okay. Alright, so the gas mask is for the gas. We know that. So now we can go into here and not die. So apparently we need something in here. And I can't see shit, man. What the hell am I meant to be looking for? Oh. Some music about? Right, Evelyn O'Donnell. Evelyn? In your own, on your own time, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gas seems to be clearing up. We all good? Take this off my face now. Yeah, we're okay. All right. Spooky room. Okay. I can't listen to Evelyn's notes, recordings. Evelyn O'Donnell. Well, first, let me smile the other day as I okay. carried out the protocols and. Asked, scared, shake. if I enjoyed what I did. Truth is, he made me think about the situation. Mm -hmm. Do I enjoy it? Don't know, do you? It's true that human traits cannot be attributed to an animal. Mm -hmm. But, would it be fair to consider the lion is sadistic because she has to kill the gazelle to feed her cubs? Yeah. It isn't the process that is enjoyed, but the result. I imagine that the lioness will enjoy having some peace of mind, knowing that her cubs can be properly fed. When it comes to survival, you don't just beat around the bush. And sometimes, I... I think that we are hypersensitive. Maybe we are. The human race only kills... Only, I'm pretty sure we are the only uh, thing that kills for pleasure. In this world, which is really quite sad, you know. Nothing else clear kills for a purpose. Can I open this? Let me just get my. Can't see shit, man. I'm pretty sure there was something on that chair earlier on. Don't remember. That's like your daughter. She's just as ugly as you. Oh, what is that? See that? There's a demon watching you. Maybe that's a sign of being watched by demons. Oh, you're my demon. Hello. All right, let's get on with it. Let's find out where we're going next. Okay. Do you? All right. We've got laser grid. Can I? 
Um, okay, I can't really. Can't walk through you because I think that'll kill me. So what is it we have to do? Hmm. Now I know that we've got vents here. There's nothing we can do. Can I maybe get into this room over here? No, we cannot. Maybe I need to smash through the window. Is that, could that possibly be it? Yes, it's exactly what we need to do. All right. Please, nothing jump out at me. Okay. All right. Okay, we're screwed. We're stuck in here. Hello, Mr. Box. I, Box, stars. No idea. Not a freaking clue. Very nice office. Okay. So can I move any of you? No, I cannot. So what are we looking at? What are we looking for? What is... What are we doing? There's something to do with you. Hey. Hmm. Maybe there's something under the table? Perhaps? No. I can't seem to go through here. And I can't access that. The clock is... A couple of minutes past three. Um... Ah, a note. A note. Okay, let's find out what it says. <clears throat> and who wrote it? I don't know. Any names on it? So I know what voice to put in. Alright, so I'm going to read this in my own voice. Oh, it's a letter from James Lefeu to William Hallwick. So this is what we read last time. I kind of explain. Yeah, you know what I'm about. The red headed crewman from the Philadelphia Experiment, Hurley McCannon, is dead. Woo. Everything has happened in so little time, but to summarize, his end, he ended his own life. What is surprising, however, is what was found inside his skull. But let me break this down. I am certain you will enjoy what I'm about to tell you, just as much as I will enjoy telling you. His apathy and the tingling in his head increased day by day. His wife told us that the only way Hurley could ease that tingling was by sitting on a balcony railing on the tenth floor and gaze at the sky. This is obvious danger to in, in this with the obvious danger it entailed. Hmm. This obviously worried his family and his fam and they frighted fright and and their fright my god I can't read and their fright increased over time. And under the doctor's recommendations he was confined to a mental hospital. Once there, things failed to get any better. He began to isolate himself from other people and from any stimulus. He showed no interest in anything, not even eating. And I have told them, I have told them a thousand times about giving metal, metal cutlery to potential suicide people. But of course I never listened. He sat in front of a food plate with a metal cutlery perfectly sharpened side by side. And he spent several hours there without eating a bit, without uttering a word, staring blankly at the wall in front of him. One of the doctors, seeing that the food had been eat was being eaten by flies, opted to remove the plate and throw the meal in the bin, but he forgot to take the cutlery away. The redhead took the fork, held it firmly, stared at the doctor in an odd manner, and stabbed his own very own eye out with it. He split his eyeball open. Right after that, he began to shout some nonsense as he banged his head on the table, which inserted the fork further down his skull through the eye, and so he died. Wow, man, what the hell is going on? The guy just went fucking nuts and murdered himself. So, is this like a sign? Do I need to look? No, I can't even see out there. Maybe... <gasps> I see Push. Okay. Last time I went into a vent, I was attacked by a creature. Aliens! Alright, Ben. I don't know why you're leaving tapes and vents, but okay. I don't know where my companions are. I've locked myself in a room, and I'm 
hoping somebody will find me. I feel worse every minute, and I can't find my pills. I'm, I'm getting paranoid. I think I've already lost any contact with reality. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I'm really, really frightened. <laughs> wow. So Benjamin started losing the plot. I'm going to lose the plot in a minute. I think I've already lost the plot, to be honest with you. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. No, where the hell am I going? Let's take me to here. Okay. Alright. Um. Save. Go. Cool. All right. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm afraid we're out of time for this one. Just got to double check. I saved that. We are out of time for for today's episode, so uh, we're gonna have to wait and come back and find out what the hell is going on. Because I am getting seriously confused. I'm just gonna go sit down in this chair for now uh, and figure out, contemplate life. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for this episode. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button and show your support by sharing and subscribing. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!